Today on Platinum ABC, we're gonna run another series of tests on the hard platinum that we introduced earlier. Now we're super happy that a lot of our factory partners have been trying out the hard platinum, coming up with all types of different formulas, putting into casting, and even chain making. And one of the benefits of hard platinum is its ability to reduce the gumminess of the platinum. So technically it should improve the two wearing. Now, no one has ever done this comparison. Today, we're gonna to run a simple experiment to see if it is true that hard platinum does in fact fare better than regular platinum in CNC. As you might know, since 2020, we have been adding gallium to a lot of industrial standard alloys um, for a reason of hardening it, um, to make it heat treatable, and also to reduce the melting point. So, but for those who don't know, please check on the uh, links in the video description below and check out our intro videos on heat treating hard alloys. And the alloys that we'll be testing today would be the industry's most common alloy of platinum copper and also with gallium added, platinum copper gallium with heat treatment. So the test samples we have here today is a ring of identical design. So one is made in platinum copper, one in platinum copper gallium with heat treatment. So we'll be plugging these loops into the CNC machine to achieve this pattern. And then we'll be comparing, number one, the CNC effects by looking at the surface of the rings, and number two, two wearing um, by looking at how many cutting tools we went through by the end of CNC. Let's fire it up. Alright, the results are in. We've been advocating that a harder platinum can improve two wear by 20% because we can get rid of the gumminess and yield a much cleaner and crispier finish. So the results are here. Is it true? Let's find out. There are three clear results and observations we want to point out. One, the first test was to see how many tools were required to create beaded side cuts. Now for the radius of 0.5 millimeter tool, the platinum copper gallium used two tools while the platinum copper used three. And for the radius of 0.3 millimeter tool, the platinum copper gallium used one tool while the platinum copper used two. The conclusion here is that the increased hardness from the added gallium does indeed remove the gumminess that can increase cutting efficiency and reduce tool wear. Two, the second test was to run service engraving with the exact same program for both platinum copper gallium and co platinum copper, and then to compare the quality on the engraving surface. Now in this case, we kept everything constant. Both alloys used the same number of tools and ran exactly the same program at exactly the same spindle speed and the same feed. And there were very noticeable differences. The platinum copper details are lacking in comparison to the platinum copper gallium, missing sharp details, especially near the end of the engraving program. And also the platinum copper is not as clean on the track as compared to the platinum copper gallium, with evidently more chatter. Finally, three. We again ran the exact same program for the two alloys this time using a radius 0.5 millimeter tool to cut channels along the side of the rings. Now from observation, we can see a lot more chatter on the platinum copper, and there's evidently a lot more chips on the edge, whereas the platinum copper gallium has a much cleaner and crispier edge. We know how everyone is actually quite concerned about the gumminess in platinum, especially in CNC, and in fact, two wearing is a major challenge. So we just hope that the experiment we did today will just start some conversation about how innovating the alloy can indeed help with production process, cost efficiency, and also with quality. 
So we encourage everyone to trial with Heart Platinum and invite you to share back any findings you might have.